Exile, an invitation to a struggle. Mother tells me to eat well. Mother, who knows best, asks, how are you? She has asked this all of my life. There are only two answers to this question. Two answers keep us mother and son, mother and daughter. The distance is a question. The question is also a statement of a struggle. If the word is a struggle, then you understand. We cannot continue as we are. We cannot forget we are guests who have overstayed. I invite you to living against as we do. It is not enough to have one tongue. It cannot point to everything and in every direction. We do not use our mother tongue for our lovers. Beloved, we speak your words. What do we want? Freedom. When do we want it? Now. Protest in the mother tongue. Free now from the notion of continuity. The present is the utterance. The now is too late. Flowers plucked for later, not now, they are dead. Stem, stamen, piston. I do not ask if they are perfect. I am not to blame for the flies who dive into a cup of tea. Life after death is a belief. There is no heaven because there is no hell. After rain, a swarm of flies misbehave like stubborn stubble. Claimed by multi-legged beings, hair loosens from its comfort of a braid. Rain seeps into animals who lie still, the wind breathless from blowing, until sun convinces us to take our layers off, dismisses the hats we wear. We predict the contraction of bones, of skin obliging a dress picked for a summer caper. If we are to leave in stages as in a preparation of a feast, if we are to leave at all, it is not possible to remain free of the suffering of knowing and of ignorance. We pray for a better life. The inevitable here, then gone, snow-bound ground, snow-topped ground, the only assurance we have is it will melt. Our bodies, covered and uncovered, are not the same. Thank you.